Part two, we've made this a component. We're gonna turn it upside down. We're going to draw a leg, make it a component, and copy it around. We start with our rectangle tool, and you notice I'm not editing this component. I'm drawing on it, okay? So now we select this. This is separate from this, okay? This is not a piece of that. I just went Control Z, I undid that. You'll notice we're gonna make this a component. So again, we're going to triple click. So the whole thing is selected. Right click, make component. Give it a name if you want, or just hit create. Now we need to copy this. The copy is done with the move tool, which is this tool right here. And if you notice, if you're not sure what any of these tools are, if you put your mouse over it and wait a second, the name pops up. So this is the move tool, or you can just push M on your keyboard. That's the shortcut key. And if I click anywhere, it moves it. But if we want to copy, we have to push the control button on the keyboard once. So if I push control once, it copies. If I push it again, it goes back to move. We want to copy, so I hit control. And I grabbed it at that corner, so I'm going to match it to that corner. I'm going to hit control again. So we're moving, I hit control, copy, click here, hit control, and we've got the four legs. All right, now we're gonna pull that leg down, but it won't let me. If you remember, this is now a component, which means we have to double click. We have our edit box. Now if I get my push-pull tool, we can move them all down and they're all the same. It does them all automatically, right? When we're finished, we click outside of the edit box.